Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the issue with no SD card or no U disk with the Xiaomi Defang. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so if you've got a Xiaomi Defang camera, possibly at some time or other you're going to find you're going to get a SD card or micro SD card error. Now this normally relates to when you open up the application, you can actually see what is being live streamed. But if you click on the play button at the bottom to review content or footage, you get the error saying no SD disk or U disk error. Now this can be caused by a number of different things. Quite often you can get away with just turning off the device, turning it back on again, and everything should be okay. But in some instances, you do have to delve a little bit further into the system to see what is actually going on. So the things you're going to need to do this for diagnostic purposes are a micro SD card reader, such as this one from Ugreen, a SIM removal tool, a new preferably class 10 micro SD card, ideally eight gigabytes or more. I've chosen a 32 gigabyte one here just for longevity purposes, which I'll explain a little bit later on. And also you'll need your device with the Xiaomi Mi Home app so you can monitor what's going on. So one of the first things to do is to verify that the actual card is physically inserted. Now I've actually removed the SD card from this particular model as it was, uh, it was actually damaged, so I've removed it. But what you should do is get your SIM removal tool or use a thumbnail and press in and the SD card or micro SD card should come out. In which case, you can then push it back in, make sure it's firmly attached, turn the device back on again and see if that cures your problem. If not, Take the card out again, put it into your micro SD card reader and plug it into your PC or Macintosh computer and then have a look at the file directory. Now if you've got files actually on the folder and the device is accessible, great, that's a good start. If for any reason, if you look inside the file directory and there's odd looking files or ones with kind of Chinese style writing on them, that is generally a bad sign. You'll need to completely format the card in your PC, then put the card back into your camera, turn it back on, and then you should be all good to go. If for some reason you take the SD card out and you put it into the SD card reader, put it into your PC, and you find your PC being slightly less responsive, or you get an error, that is generally a sign that the card is bad. Now the way that these cameras work, in some cases, depending on how you've got it set up, is they're set to continuously record. Now if you've got a slightly smaller card, like an eight gig or a 16 gig card, that can be rewritten to hundreds and hundreds of times during its lifetime. Now these cards aren't designed to last a particularly long time, especially when being continuously written to. So that is why it's always worth having a good quality card, such as the SanDisk or the Kingston, like I've got here. Make sure you go with a, a well-recognized or a reliable brand. Some of the cheaper alternatives on the market, although they seem cheap at first, they don't tend to have a very long lifespan. So do bear that in mind if you're making a purchase. So if you've gone to check the card and it doesn't work at all, that is your problem. Essentially, the device has been written to too many times and it's basically run out of its life cycle. So the best thing to do here is to get a new SD card, micro SD card, and all you need to do is to turn off your device, insert the new card, turn it back on, and the device should automatically recognize the new SD, format it appropriately, and you can carry on recording your footage. Now, if for some reason it doesn't, you can actually go into the device. So in this instance, I'm gonna go into the dining room camera. So you can press on the three dots at the top and this will bring up your options and settings. So if you go into camera settings and then go into storage management, you can set your recording mode, but also you've got the option for format. So click on format and you can format the SD card. Now this is always a good option, again, if you're having problems, if there's strange uh, Chinese character folders appearing on your device, often it's a good thing, run the format command anyway, just so you can start afresh. The format itself shouldn't take a very long time at all. If for some reason the format starts taking a long time and you get a device error, that again is a sign that your micro SD card is beginning to fail and really should be replaced as soon as possible. So there we go, there are some options and some troubleshooting tips for the U-Disc or no SD card error with the Xiaomi Defang camera. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, give it a thumbs up. 
If you've got questions or comments, please feel free to put them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them as best as I possibly can. So, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews in the How To. This has been troubleshooting the Jamie Defang camera and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.